Hey there, angry faithful. I just wanted to drop in, bend your ear a little bit, get your attention. So if you're not listening, drop what you're doing and pay attention to me because I'm here to inform you that not only can you get your daily, maybe if you're binging it, I'm not sure, that's entirely up to you, but you can multiply your doses of angry me fuckery by paying attention to all of the platforms upon which you can find either the dulcet tones of my voice and David's voice or my pretty face and David's not so pretty face. Anyways, digressing. We, not only on we are on YouTube, we are on Spotify, we're on Rumble, we're on Google, Apple Podcast. We have a TikTok page. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Facebook. So if you find yourself fuckery deprived curl up with a nice hot mug of shut the fuck up and just listen open those ear holes and be prepared to be cream pied like it's the first time thanks for listening Welcome, Angry Faithful. Today on Nerd Sports, we're going to talk about the extreme sport of extreme ironing. All right. Extreme ironing. So that's not sponsored by the uh, <laughs> National Organization for Women? Well, uh, <coughs> extreme ironing is considered a danger uh, sport in which people take ironing boards to various often remote locations to iron their clothes and take pictures. Kind of want to see these pictures now. So, so again, I'm reminded. Okay, so back when the great, late great Rush uh, uh, Limbaugh was uh, still alive, <laughs> and Hillary was running for president, um, that she was backed or endorsed is the word I'm looking for by the National Organization of Women now, right? Yeah. And so she was invited to speak at their conference. <laughs> and he goes, now I'm going to say this, but and I'm probably going to get in trouble, but who cares? He goes, If you're going to invite somebody to your conference to speak and you're endorsing them to run for president of the United States, <laughs> you figure at least one person there in attendance would have had the wherewithal to iron their banner. Because... <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> It had all kinds of creases and wrinkles in it. (laughs) That that's not he's not wrong. He's He's not not wrong. Like out of line. I mean, he's not even out of line. I'm just like, send it out or something, steam it. I don't care. But (laughs) I heard that on his radio show, dude. I had to pull over because I I was dying for like five or 10 minutes. Dude. It was great. <laughs> oh, but extreme ironing, huh? Okay. Yep. Hey, it's just one of the things that just pops up every once in a while on my stuff since I'm looking at like weird shit. Uh, well, with my freaking uh, open mic, I've been usually at the end of the show i'll do it's like the weird shit i found on the internet you know what i found on the internet it's really weird what's that a camera a camera yeah on the internet Mm -hmm. okay i'll bite but it's it's a cock ring camera It's like 25 bucks. Uh-huh. And uh yeah. 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 <clears throat> well, at least the internet doesn't disappoint. I mean, 
And they're actually pretty cheap. And it's made by Logitech, so it's a pretty good brand. Wait, Logitech makes a cock ring <laughs> camera? <laughs> yes. Uh, I... <sighs> okay, hold on. Let's see who can get it there faster. This this is the show. One of uh, I end up saying something really stupid and everything. We're like, no. Okay, because I can't find it on Amazon. That's where I found it on. Really? You sure it was yeah. Logitech that made it? It it might not have been. Hold on. I thought I saw. It, it, I would. I did a quick look at it and. Um, okay, so I see smallest Wi-Fi, 1080p IP cameras. I see nanny cams. There's a creative jewelry ring stand camera. So it's just basically like a muscle builder standing there flexing. And you hang your rings on his cock. Um, there's a blowjob bib. Okay, okay. Um... I see advertisements for ring cameras. Mini spy camera. Yeah, I'm, I'm working my way down on this. I know I've seen it. <laughs> I might have to just Google the shit again. Fernando inflatable blow up doll mailman for parties. Pranks bachelor. It's Halloween. 50 and 50. The cock it's, ring. It's John okay. Holmes. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't uh Logitech. Hold on. I'm sending you this stuff right now. There we go. The the oh my god, the cock cam. Okay, hold on. What in the actual Well this one's like $179. Kind of expensive. The, I just, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what to. Uh, let me read the product description before we get into the sports here. <clears throat> <laughs> I wonder what this cam. other thing. Hold, hold, on. hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on. The cock cam. Yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a micro camera that can be placed around the base of your penis, which allows you to record all of your erotic moments. This exciting product is the first of its kind on the market, bringing you bringing your home videos to the next level. We have encased the camera in a luxury feel matte black ring, which has a stretchy yet tight sleeve. <laughs> this goes. This is going from a from <laughs> from a script read. <laughs> <laughs> two of 50 shades interpretation <laughs> no what gets me what gets me on this whole fucking thing is the addict because you know they had added products what you buy with the product what you're buying right there's an added other product. users frequently bought together things like uh a silicone, silicone penis, penis, penis ring for men yeah <sighs> all right so let me get back to this here <clears throat> designed to fit snugly around the base of your penis to give the camera a great point of view and also helps you keep a bigger and harder erection. Camera features. It's a 1280p HD MP4 video. <laughs> H.264 advanced encoding. I don't know if infrared I lightless night vision, vision, uh, vision lights. <laughs> Integrated Wi-Fi can be streamed and viewed anywhere. Super slim. <laughs> And light design camera specifications. Size, 40 millimeters by 15 by 9. Weight, it only weighs 19 grams. Removable storage supports up to a 32 gig micro SD card. So like, what, five minutes worth of video? Um, it is a rechargeable 220 milliamp polymer lithium battery. 
Oh, there's a customer review? <gasps> no. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's a three star one. Oh, All I oh, saw was here, here we go. slapping the lens. <laughs> Make sure you <laughs> point the camera towards the shaft. shaft. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not good for. Oh, this is a one star review. Not good for small penis. As much as I hate to say this, my penis is too small and skinny for the ring. I tried cutting out pieces or pieces of foam board, but it slipped out and it took up a lot of my shaft. Me and my girlfriend were going to make a video, but it wasn't satisfied, but wasn't satisfied anymore and left and, and recently left me. Oh, can you please add custom sizes in the near future? Please. 110 people found that helpful. Here, I'm going to help the dude out. Okay. Um, complications. I'm so, I must say it's not fecal safe. Because when my girl sharted, the, ca <laughs> the camera went black. It wouldn't work anymore. I knew uh, oh I would God. like to return that side of it. That's okay. <laughs> you know, oh, oh, my God. Be great on what may possibly. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. One more. Five star review. 2.3 million people know about your product now. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Total waste of money. It's a one star review. If you live in the U.S., don't buy this. This The app is not available in the U.S. You can still use the camera with a MyQuest D card, but the night vision won't work and you can't control any settings on the camera. The video quality is complete garbage, too, even in good light. This was a total waste of money that can't be returned. I'd give zero stars if I could. Thanks for letting buyers know the app isn't available in the USA. Scam. <gasps> okay, gut camera. This camera is awesome. <laughs> the only negative I have is my wife's vagina is like the black hole. All the footage I got was of her guts. <laughs> I <would> recommend. <laughs> Okay, so the product does not work in the United States. I did not try to set it up until it was too late to return it. And it only works with an app that is not available in the U.S. So much money wasted. I should have gotten a GoPro instead. <laughs> if you can find a GoPro for $130, you go ahead, dude. Knock yourself out. <gasps> oh, this guy. Oh. <laughs> He's got a I approve app. <gasps> oh, my. God, dude, scroll down to the eye proof. He's got a thumbnail of the picture he took. <laughs> With his friends looking down at it. Oh, my God. That is hilarious. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> hold, on. hold on. Hold on. Why will it let me zoom in? Because I want to see if they did, forgot to edit the reflection in his lens, uh, the, his buddies that's wearing glasses. Oh, I, I, that's what you're going with? That I'm yeah, I'm like, to. did they, oh, oh, yeah, oh, it's going to let me zoom in. Oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, no, they, it's all fudged tell. out. Okay. Yeah. Dude, that is great. That is, that uh, is awesome. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, my God. That is fucking hilarious oh man oh 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 it's magic okay okay sports oh. deuce <laughs> right hold, hold on. <clears throat> oh my god I, I gotta do it you go ahead with sports news i'm i'm going back to that and there's something in german that i want to look at Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I had to compose myself. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Okay. So we had a game seven for the Eastern Conference, uh, uh, conference finals for the NBA uh, last night. And, uh, I'm happy to report that the Boston Celtics 
defeated the Miami Heat and are advancing to play the Golden State Warriors for the NBA title. First game is on Thursday at 8 o'clock Eastern time on ABC. Um, That's for the Red Sox? The Boston Celtics. I'm talking about the NBA. Thanks for actively participating in the conversation. Well, I'm still looking at the translations. The one is just, uh, it was very cool and everything. You just got to watch for lighting. <laughs> so you got to light your cock just right, just get a good uh, good uh, view of it. <clears throat> Uh, this one cool idea. Unfortunately, it became very unclear in close combat. <laughs> the ring is uh, sporty tight. Hands down, the shark and the picture of his wife's guts. Best yes. reviews ever. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, moving on to baseball news. Um. Jesus Sanchez of the Miami Marlins hit a home run today at Coors Field up in uh, Denver. Mm -hmm. He parked that ball 496 feet from home plate for the second longest ever recorded home run being hit in that ballpark. <laughs> Damn. Um, let me see here. All right, so Gabe Kapler, he's the manager for the Giants, right? In light of the Uvalde shooting, um, he decided that he was going to come out and say that he's not going to come out and stand for the national anthem. He's going to stay in the locker room until the national anthem is done playing because he wants to see change being made. Now, what change he wanted made, he didn't exactly make clear in his press conference. But you know what? Most people from the state of California don't, in, don't, don't necessarily uh, – What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Be a little bitch. No. Well, no, that's what they're being. No. Uh, what I'm referring to is, is they, they don't necessarily outline their intentions. They don't necessarily outline what they want to achieve, how they go about, you know, how they want to go about achieving it. No, they, they just say, okay, here, I'm going to take a knee or I'm going to stay in the locker room. Uh, you know, we're going to vote for the same idiot governor that's uh, running our governor or our, our state into the into the ground uh, time and time again. We're going to vote the same people into Congress time and time again to where basically the only thing that's uh, legal in the state of uh, California is uh, shitting on the sidewalk and stealing things that uh, are valued under what is it? Nine hundred dollars. So, yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that California is home to the U United States, uh, um, you know, there's a naval and marine base in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also home to the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library, which is also the resting place of Mr. and Mrs. Nance, uh, uh, Ronald Reagan. Yeah. I'd say I let the whole fucking state fall off into the Pacific Ocean. I mean, really. I mean, because even if, even if the voting people or voting public in California pulled their heads heads out of their collective asses and actually started voting the right way and got their state back on track, you'd have you'd have like sleeper cells and resistance pockets all over the state of California trying to push for you know, electric cars and paper straws. And I tried one of those paper straws. Once. Dude, they, they're horrible. Horrible. Yes. Cause as soon as you put it in there, it melts. <clears throat> I forget which company it gave me that freaking paper straw. I got the paper straw. I put it. I was like, what the hell is this? It's a paper straw. Give me a plastic, uh, plastic straw. Cause I don't like freaking turtles anyways i was trying to think because i got one the other day i think it was uh 
It was someplace I don't really go to that often. I can't think of it off the top of my head. It, it it's not important. Anyway. Um <laughs> so let me see here. My Red Sox have been on a fucking tear lately. Oh, really? Um, oh, 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 yeah. Um, of their last 10 games, they're 7-3 and three over their last 10. Um, they, uh, let me see, they're still 10 games back. They're two games below 500 right now, but um, they play Baltimore for the fifth and final game today. They played a very rare five game series in Boston. Mm. Um, they they won game one, won game two, split the doubleheader, lost game three. They won game four yesterday, 12 to two. And then they're going to finish up tonight at, uh, what is it, I think at like 6 30, something like that tonight. Um, but, and then, then they, then they uh, welcome uh, Cincinnati in for two games. And then they go on the road trip. They go to, they, excuse me, they go to the West Coast for a while. So they're actually going to be in the Bay Area at the same time that the Celtics are playing game one of the NBA Finals. Hmm. But, um, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of funny, too, because it's like talking about Boston sports teams. When the Bruins and the Stars got bounced out of the playoffs for the Stanley Cup, nobody's talking about hockey anymore. I mean, I'll look it up just because I want to know, but I don't even know who's still in the damn playoffs for the Stanley Cup right now. I just don't. Yeah, go ahead and take care of my light work for me. But yeah, um, <clears throat> I mean, arguably... I think the Red Sox are kind of the hottest team in the majors right, right now. Well, Toronto, they won their last five, but I mean, they're, they're seven and three over their last 10 games too. But um, I mean, they're, they're really hitting these parts of the, uh, the schedule where they really should have just kind of made up all this ground. Um, and the one game that they did lose out of this five game series, or no, they lost two games. No, right now that they're two and two uh, on the uh, with the series, and they're going to go for the series win. I think. Anyway, it's like uh, Lightning, Avalanche, and Oilers are the only teams left in the. Well, there you just gave me three teams. So you gave me Tampa Bay, Colorado, and the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Edmonton That's all it's on Oilers. Here. Really. Yeah, I guess the Oilers took because care of the they lightning. To. Lightning, it's to be announced. Okay, so the lightning advanced, and so Edmonton and Colorado are playing. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, so Tampa Bay advanced to I, what? I guess their second or third straight yeah, Stanley Cup so. final. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Whatever. Um, I hate to be this way about it, but go Colorado, and then. Because I don't like Tampa Bay. Anyways. But Johnny, wouldn't it be nice if your team that... If the Stanley Cup was in the same conference as your team? I don't really care. I don't like Tampa Bay. I don't like Toronto. <laughs> I just don't. Anyway, digressing. Okay, so... um. Oh, and there was some NFL news today. Um, so, today in Dallas, uh, Cardinals cornerback Jeff Gladney died in a car accident at the age of 25. Uh, it was an early Monday morning accident in Dallas. NFL Network's Mike uh, Garfalo 
uh, reported per Gladney's agent. He was 25 years old. The cause of crash and Gladney's death remain under investigation. He said, quote, we are devastated to learn of Gladney's passing. End quote. The Cardinal said in a statement, our hearts go out to his family, friends, and all who are mourning this tremendous loss. Gladney was a first round draft pick by, my, by the Minnesota Vikings in 2020. Now the Texas, uh, or the, the TCU, so he, was, he went to Texas Christian University, uh, the TCU product started 15 games his rookie season. So that tells me, okay, he went to school there. More likely he's from the Dallas area. So that explains why he was there. Um, he started 15 games his rookie season, collecting 81 tackles, three pass defensed, or passes defensed, and one forced fumble. He was released by the Vikings following an indictment for felony assault ahead of the 2021 season. And we're saddened by the tragic death of former Viking Jeff Gladney, said the Vikings. Our hearts go out to his family and friends, as well as the Arizona Cardinals organization and Jeff's current and former teammates and coaches who are mourning his law, uh, life lost too, uh, much too soon. Cardinals signed Gladney to a two-year contract this offseason after he was found not guilty in the, the domestic violence case. So, yeah, um, that sucks. Um, just kind of, you know, it's just, just one of those pointing out reminders that it doesn't matter where you are, what season of life that you happen to be in. God could just... Yeah, he could he could just snap you home in an instant. So, um, you know, and and this is where I'm going to get a little nerdy with it, but you know, things like that are just wait for it inevitable. So, you know, it right. See, all right. So, the, for those of us who uh, keep score at home, yes, that was a very very nerdy MCU reference. You're welcome. Um, but. <laughs> motherfucker okay so you know I, i'm 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 kind of I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm thinking to myself like okay yeah he was indicted but he was found not guilty so here's my thing domestic violence i mean the the term indictment just it, it's kind of a menace a misnomer you're not indicted on anything unless you unless your case is taken to a grand jury and grand juries don't convene unless you've got felony cases yeah. right so either this was an incredibly huge domestic violence <clears throat> accusation that was apparently worded well enough to get an indictment or again where they're just throwing the word indictment out there and i could hear Ingano matoya going you use that word, but I don't think you know what it means. Um, it's, it's the new news media. They don't know what fucking words yeah, mean it, and everything. It, yeah, I got you. But uh, I don't know, man. It, 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 it's, it's sad to see uh, talented young men and women get struck down um, over some dumb shit. And, and then once he gets clear of the charges, I mean, he's like, okay, great. You know, just sign a brand new two-year contract with Arizona. And I mean, life's good, right? And he's celebrated and, and he's celebrated a little bit too hard. Yeah, just celebrated a little bit too hard. And uh, I probably should, yeah. To do, no, that wasn't a naked body, by the way. I know it wasn't. I, I saw the open door and I was like, you know, it'd be really funny, and I would have to do some editing and everything like that. Is uh, that happened, and it mm -hmm. and it luckily it wasn't. But do me a I favor, edit it. try to blot that out anyway. Uh, don't cut, don't don't cut the audio. I, I, nope. I need the program. <laughs> I've been needing to buy it. I've been I've been needing to buy uh buy a lot of the program stuff and everything like that just in case. And I just funding funding okay. people's but i can't block it out no I worries can, i might have i might be able to do a little bit of uh i might be able to do something but anyways yeah but anyway so um man um i really don't have a whole lot of yeah memorial day weekend is kind of uh if if tuesday would probably have been a little bit better but 
Uh, it's no big deal. Yeah, there there is one thing here. Hold on. I need to prep our weekly guest here. Hold, please. All right. So Come on. I tell you what, he needs to look at his phone. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Excuse me, that's not bad manners. That's just good cherry limeade right there, boy. I'm telling you right now. Mm. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm going to uh, I'm going to Amarillo on um, what this Wednesday. Is Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, and we spend the night out there with my oldest, um, meet his girlfriend for the first time, um, and then uh, get to finally see his house that he bought out there. Hmm. And then uh, I'll be back here on Thursday. So I got my boys that night, and then um, I'll have them this weekend. Um. Uh, I'm thinking, man, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm going to take them to go see the Bob's Burgers movie. It's a movie? Yeah, really? there's, a, there's a Bob's Burger movie. You kidding me, dude? No, Bob's I... Burgers is the shit. I fucking I... love that show. Man, there's so much that I don't get or get into and everything. It's just, it's weird. Because a <laughs> lot of people is like, I like the whole Big Bang Theory. I never got into Big Bang Theory. <sighs> I couldn't, I couldn't, I, I just couldn't stand that. It was just people trying to act intelligent. It, it really got to me that they were trying to act intelligent and be nerdy at the same time. And uh, it was just. Now I'm going to try to FaceTime him on my Mac. So I don't know if it's going to jack with it shouldn't. the video at the very least jack with the audio. So we'll, we'll see how this works. So it might mess up the audio a little bit. Well, I won't be able to hear them. Okay. So we'll, we'll figure this out. So we, this is, this is some of the technical technical stuff that we probably should have figured out ahead of time well uh, <clears throat> there's a way to do it but we don't have the programming yet you know kind of like uh spending 130 dollars on a cock uh, cock ring camera when you don't know for sure that the app works or is available in the u.s or not you can just get an express vpn and get it through that way i don't I know why could. they did yeah i mean you could get a vpn but Getting VPN now, 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 I am incredibly like, uh, <laughs> what is the word I'm looking for? I, 
<laughs> I just sent the cock cam to, to Mindy. She goes, the reviews are hilarious. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what I bought recently? And this is just totally off subject, but I, I got a Duke can I got like this little Duke cannon set. It's a uh, soap on a rope. You just put the soap in there and it has a yeah, it's a, it's a tactical soap poster. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, fuck, I have one. That, I've got two of them. Dude, that thing is fucking phenomenal. With the Buffalo Trace bourbon soap? Yeah. Shit, yeah, boy. Oh, that stuff's where it's at. But here, here's the thing. I was trying to, I was going to get it like a Doc Sasquatch one, but they didn't have anything for that. They didn't have like a soap on a rope th- thing. That had a like a holster. That's the whole reason why I didn't do that. But I bet if I cut it in half, it'll fit in there. Hold on a second. What is Mindy saying? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me try this with him. Technology. Right? Hey, bud. Okay, so David, can you hear him? Yeah, I can hear him. Okay, all right. So if I can hear him, you, you're you're gonna be... you're gonna be able to see. You, okay, so you can see me and everything, right? Mm-hmm. Colin, what? you can see and hear me, right? You can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> With an answer. <laughs> <laughs> holy crap all right hold on you get to hear your intro music this week all right so we're gonna try this all right so ladies and gentlemen angry faithful boys and girls of all ages now is the time of week that you all look forward to it is joke time with colin all right bud there you go across him uh leans over to him and asks are all these kids yours he said he replies no i work for a con- company and they're all customers of the bank what was that again okay you want to try try saying it one more time a man boards a plane with six kids after they settled in their seats a woman Sitting across from him, leans over to him and asks, "After all, are all these kids yours?" He replies, "No, I work for a condom company. They're all customers' complaints." <laughs> that is okay. Hilarious. Yeah, I've heard that, that that's before, pretty. Yeah, yeah, that that's pretty good. Hey, okay, so I'm gonna put you on the spot, Colin. Give me one more, because it's Memorial Day. We need two jokes, bro. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That's that's what she said. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, now bear in mind what Memorial Day is all about. So no jokes about that. Okay, good. Do you hear him, David? Mm-mm. Okay, hold on. Let me let me try this again here. Hold on. Go for it. What did the slice of bread? I mean, uh, what did the toaster say to the slice of bread? What? I want you inside me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is my genetic code on display for your viewing pleasure and ear holes. You are welcome. <laughs> All right, bud. You guys having a good day so far? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go visit your brother uh, Wednesday. I'll be back in town on Thursday. And then uh, in time to get you all for the evening. And then we're probably going to go see, well, we got, we got two episodes. We got the two episodes or three episodes really of the Obi-Wan, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi to watch. And then uh, we're probably going to try to go see the Bob's Burger movie. Yeah. All right. Okay, bud. Give your brother a hug for me. I love you guys. Love you. All right. Later. And one more joke. Everything. Not everything is a that's what she said joke, okay? Okay. Anyway, so over there, that's my favorite roller coaster. I used to ride it in the front, but now I love it in the back. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm David Dickerman. I'm Johnny Skelton. And this is a fun one for, for a holiday that we... Uh, yeah, um, just real quick. Uh, it is Memorial Day. I'm not going to try to bring it down to a more somber note here, but I just kind of want to remind everybody Memorial day is not for the veteran that lives next door. The guy that, the, you know, the guy that sits across from you in church, the people that were able to come home, the people that are still breathing, the ones that are on the North side of the dirt. Our day is veterans day. So let's not get that confused. Memorial day is for the heroes that paid the ultimate sacrifice and didn't come home. So just remember that it's not about the sales. It's not about the beach parties. It's not about how much you can drink. Although that stuff is fun and your ability to do those things was bought and paid for with the blood of your brothers and sisters. Whose dying breath causes our flag to wave in the breeze. Just remember, Memorial Day is a re day of remembrance. Nothing more, nothing less. But as David so eloquently put, he's David Dickerman. I'm Johnny Skelton. You have been assaulted in the ear hole by another episode of Nerd Sports. Victory!